This is Mike from Yob, and you're watching Brutalitopia. Hey everyone, this is Mick and of course my cohort Durf here again in Chicago Hello, on, on St. Patty's Day of all days. We are here with uh, Mike Scheidt of Yob. Um, Mike, you guys currently uh, on tour in support of uh, Enslaved. Uh, just to start off, you know, how the tour's been going, goods, bads, or has it all been good so far? Uh, the tour's been great. Uh, Enslaved have been great. Uh, Ecstatic Vision that we're on tour with is a fantastic band. Uh, everyone gets along really well. Um, I'm a big enslaved fan, and so it feels charmed to be out with them. And uh, they've been really great to us, and they dig us a lot, and so it's been uh, really great. We had a few hiccups on this trip. We had kind of a bad van to start with, so, you know, that was kind of keeping it real for a minute there. But, you know, we were able to exchange the van, and it's been pretty smooth sailing ever since. You know, knock on, you know, ectoplasm. But, yeah, Uh, so things have been really great. Um, it, it's kind of uh, an interesting bill because it's kind of, you know, two different styles of, of metal. Have you been on tours that have been kind of this, like, disparate in terms of, like, you know, bands sounding kind of so different from each other? We've done a lot of shows like that. I mean, we've played with black metal and death metal bands, and we've done a number of shows with Origin, for example. And Origin is big, you know, we're Yob fans, and we're Origin fans, and it doesn't seem like it would fit, but right. somehow for us it does. And, you know, I think with Enslaved and us... You know, we both, you know, maybe started in kind of more like, you know, more literal genre styles and then over time have expanded and expanded. And so we kind of, in a way, are cut from the same cloth, though enslaved to me are, you know, legends. And so yeah, that's kind of where that comparison ends. But, um, uh, but yeah, I mean, I feel, I feel like our, our approach is similar. Like we're looking for something ultimate. And so, and, and that can't be... We don't feel like in either situation that being really specific to a genre mm-hmm. is our path for that. Sure. Though for another band it may be. So there's been a lot of similarities in that regard. It's been cool. Cool. Yes, uh, well, thank you for the segue. Speaking of paths, you guys just put out your uh, newest record, Clearing the Path to Ascend, last year. Um, I feel like the response to this album has been overwhelming. Uh, Rolling Stone took notice of it. So, I mean, it really... it. Um, it broke the sort of like traditional areas where metal kind of gets recognized. Do you anticipate that at all when you were putting the album together? 100% not. <laughs> um, yeah, and we don't, I mean, we don't think too much about it. You know, uh, I mean, it's always in the back of your mind a little bit that, of course, you are going to put it out and people are going to hear it and there, there's people that like our previous records and, you know, but. Um, we just have to, you know, we just focus on being really happy in our rehearsal space and making sure that what we write, we're really feeling and that it's doing its work on us and that's the medicine for us to begin with. And then so at that point, yeah, you want it to be received well, but however it's received, it's working for us. And so we feel like as long as it continues to work for us, then we can put that on, uh, on a stage or we can record it. And so that's the main focus. But... That being said, yeah, it's definitely been overwhelming to get the response that we have, and we've been very honored and feel pretty lucky and, you know, kind of surprised for sure. Um, It's been interesting um, the way that it's changed. What about uh, clearing the path um, in terms of the rest of Yob's discography is uh, unique perhaps, uh, you know, as opposed to all the other releases? What makes clearing the path, like, different in its own kind of album for you? (sighs) Well, it's it's definitely has a, a higher a kind of mush factor, I guess, a, an emotional content that, um, and there's a lot of nuances to it that are, I think, just more fleshed out compared to some of our other material. But you know, all of our older material, as we've become a better band, and this is true kind of for every record, all of our previous records have gotten better too for us. Like when we play that stuff, everything that we learn as a band goes into when we're playing a song that's 15 years old but we're playing it as us today and how we feel today and the growth that we've had goes into those other records as well and so um 
you know, I think, but ultimately that's really it. There's just kind of a, a real sense of, uh, of, I don't know, just of a more of a, a visceral, emotional content that I definitely felt writing it uh, for sure. So, excellent. Um, so I know it looks like we've got about four or five minutes left, and you got to go to vocal warm up. So, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> never ever. Um, so you guys are doing this tour. Um, I guess you have any plans for what's going to come next? Any new music? Are you kind of just working on the tour right now, and whatever comes next? We have some things coming up. We do have some things coming up. Uh, Maryland Death Fest and a couple fests up in Portland. And we don't have any other, like, bigger tours planned really right now. Um, We've been pretty busy, like, all of last year, at least in the writing and the recording and getting ready for the European tour and then doing shows in between. It was pretty busy. Um, And then, uh, you know, as soon as I got home, I went and did the new Vol record, too, uh, the vocals for that. Um, And then getting ready for this tour so um for the rest of the year it's pretty loose right now um i do know that uh i definitely am feeling inspired to write and so when i get home i'm sure i'll be starting to write new yob stuff and then um hard to say you know we, we try to really balance i mean we could tour a lot more and those possibilities are available but we don't want to we're very careful about not wanting to overplay the band to either our fans or for ourselves and potentially not making it as special. We want to keep it really special for us and then also um, make sure that when we do go out on tour that it's really good timing and and that you know people are ready for it. I feel like if we come to place three or four times in a year, we could do that for a little while, but then after a while it's going to start suffering. So we just don't want to make it suffer to begin with. Sure. So it, And plus also too, we have families and kids and and it's a it's a balancing act, you know, because we got when we come out here for five or six weeks, we have favors at home that we got to make good on, and you know, so. But it's all good. Sure, it's Excellent. all positive. Yeah. Uh, um, kind of uh, one last note about the emotional content you kind of uh, talked about earlier about clearing the path, and really, um, this is kind of more about your whole, you know, Yob's whole discography in general, like the the lyrical content and kind of the music that goes along with it kind of takes on like this kind of, it's like it's seeking some existential kind of meaning in a way. What um, what appeals to you about, you know, bringing positivity into like a, a heavy sounding kind of music as opposed to, you know, like what a lot of other bands do, kind of focus on the negative aspects or like, you know, evil things. What, what you know, appeals to you about positivity in this style of music? Um, I can only really speak for myself there. You know, it's definitely not um, some kind of philosophy that I am expounding. I just know that that I want to feel better (laughs) and that I don't want to just suffer. And, you know, I have some things in me that predispose me to do that. And so um, when I'm looking at, you know, some kind of existentialism or mysticism or... Um, some of the philosophies that I feel like add nuance to knowledge or subtract rather than add, you know, kind of breathes a little bit of mystery back into the world. Um, I find that when I'm not taking things for granted that I feel better. And um, when I feel better, I feel like I'm better for my kids, I'm better for my friends, I'm better for my my family, and um, and that's really important to me. Um, you know, this, the whole in this world it's crazy you know and and i don't want to be another flaming tree in the forest fire yeah. you know i want to be thing. i want to be a, yeah. a at least a, a cup of water you know <laughs> and if the cup of water gets blazed in the fire then that's gonna that's right gonna happen <laughs> it's gonna happen and yeah. you know i'm i mean i make fucking tons of mistakes it's no delusion or like grandeur or anything it's just what i hope for yeah. and so th- that's what i want to write about because that's what I what I feel inspired to write about, but you know it's a, um, it's a work in progress. Sure, sure. Yeah. Do you have anything else? Uh, no, man. Nothing like those easy uh, softball <laughs> yeah, right. existential How's questions. Tour before, before, before <laughs> yeah, right, I right, know, exactly. <laughs> right. Get you in the zone. Uh, that and some you know gummy bears and you know, <laughs> soda and you know it's 
right on there. You know, you're in a good spot, you know. Well, I guess to uh, to wrap up then, um, you know, you guys have been around for a long, long time, so I'm sure you've played with just about everybody under the sun, but is there still a, uh, a dream tour or bill that Yab would, would like to be on that's kind of a bucket list for you guys at all or anything? You know, it's already gone so far beyond anything that we'd ever considered doing that it's... You know, I get asked this sometimes, and I'm never quite sure what to say, you know, because, I mean, certainly there are bands that we'd love to share the stage with eventually. You know, Godflesh has always been a band that I would love to play with at some point, or uh, Iron Maiden. I mean, oh, if, we're, yeah. if, we're, if we're dreaming, let's, 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 let's dream. Um, uh, I was talking earlier about shows we would have to our bank accounts. Yeah, 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 just, just, yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> exactly, you know, probably the, the crowd would not know what to do with us, but, you know, it's uh, but a bucket list situation. Um, yeah, there's, I mean, you know, the, the handful of times we've shared the stage with the Neurosis and Sleep has always been great, and we'd always, of course, love to do that again. And um, I wish the band Wake, yeah, I'd really Denver. love, oh, R-W-A-K-E. Oh, R- oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah Wake. I never knew the R was silent. It I is, thought, like, yeah, R- yeah, <laughs> Wake, yeah. <laughs> but they're uh, a band that we would love to do shows with again, you know. Um, they're one of the best live bands ever. So fantastic. Well, uh, everyone, this has been another exclusive Brutalotopia interview here with Mike Scheidt of Yaw. Be sure to check out uh, their latest album, Clearing the Path to Ascend. And, Mike, thanks so much for taking the time to do the interview See with us. Tour, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Take it easy. <laughs>